So if you're somebody that wants to put any time at all into WoW Season 4, this is the important week that you should be grinding and putting a lot of time into. Whether you just want to gear up your main or gear up a bunch of alts, or whether you're a collector that just wants to get all of the raid appearances from this expansion, whichever one of those people are, this week is going to be important. And this week is so important because of the weekly event, which is the Emissary of War, which wants you to complete four mythic dungeons. But instead of rewarding you with a random piece of raid loot, this is instead giving you two bronze bullions, which is the new season four currency. And this is also on top of the weekly bronze bullions you could be getting from defeating any raid bosses on any difficulties. And this is week two of season four. So just defeating any raid bosses, including an LFR, you'll be able to get up to two bronze bullions just from that, just from that weekly cap increasing by one every week. But on top of that, you'll be able to get these two bronze bullions from this weekly quest. And if you haven't played season four yet or haven't been keeping up with it, bronze bullions are an incredible incredibly important resource for season four and they're not only going to be important for people actually trying to gear up their characters but they're also going to be very important for collectors or people just trying to get some more transmog now the main things you're going to be spending these on especially if you're trying to gear up is you can buy any trinket weapon or other rare drop item from all three of the dragonflight raids so you'll be able to go buy an augury you'll be able to go buy the ash candor you'll be able to go buy the rare drop cloaks or rare rings or any other trinket from any of their raids and this means that the majority of the most powerful raid items are able to be obtained from these bronze bullions now any of the items you're buying with these bronze bullions that are actual power related pieces so any trinkets or weapons or anything you're actually going to be using those are going to cost two bronze bullions but what's really nice about this is that any item you buy with these bullions are able to be upgraded to max eye level so you'll buy them they'll be at normal raid item level but they'll have one out of 12 upgrades so once you get any one of these items with these bullions now you just need to go farm crests and you can upgrade them to the max item level of the season so you could go spend these bullions and get say an augury which is the trinket that pretty much any melee dps wants you can go get that it's a bis trinket and then you can just farm up crests in doing anything mythic plus anything you want to do and you can fully upgrade that to the highest possible item level so these are incredibly important for actually gearing up in this season so if you're trying to gear up any of your characters, your main character, or any alt, you can just go do four Mythic Zero Dungeons, and then go do one Wing of LFR, and that should get you your four Bronze Bullions, which will allow you to get two best in slot items, whether that be two trinkets, a trinket and a ring, a trinket and a weapon, anything you want, you're going to be able to get those very easily this week. Now keep in mind, with the Dungeon Difficulty Rework, Mythic Zeros in this season is the equivalent of Mythic Ten in last season but it's still going to work like a mythic zero dungeon so you're still going to be able to get loot on every boss there's going to be no timer there's going to be no affixes the difficulty and the loot drops is going to be like you're running a mythic 10. now that's important just for knowing the actual difficulty of these dungeons with this weekly event you also get the sign of the warrior buff where the final boss of each dragon flight dungeon will drop an extra item so going through and doing mythic zeros especially if you're on a character that is not geared past that point you'll not only have a chance to get an item on every boss but the final boss is going to drop an additional item for your group so you just have a higher chance of getting an item on the final boss so if you're say gearing an alt going through and doing those four mythic zero dungeons you'll probably get at least a handful of items you'll be able to get your bronze bullion to go get a best in slot item then you could just go do an lfr wing get another bullion item and you'll probably have a somewhat decently geared character at least to jump into mythic plus and start doing mid-tier mythic plus and this is going to be a massive jump start into gearing all of those characters now if you're somebody that's just trying to get cosmetics or you're a collector you're just trying to collect all the different appearances this is also going to be an incredibly good week for you as well because for collectors collecting bronze bullions on every character
character just multiplies the amounts of collections or transmog items you're able to get. Now, the main things you're able to buy with bullions, specifically pertaining to transmog items or cosmetics, you're able to buy the slime cat mount from the final season of Shadowlands. That's three bullions, but it's a super cool looking mount. And then past that, you're able to buy every raid weapon appearance in all four of its different colors for one bronze bullion a piece. So let's say you're playing a warrior and you've never gotten an ash cander and you want to go get that. You're able to go buy that with one bronze bullion, but you're only going to get one of the colors. So there's going to be LFR color, normal color, heroic color, mythic color. All of those are going to cost one bronze bullion a piece. But on top of that, if you're somebody that's actually going to be playing the season and gearing up, you may also want to plan out where you're going to buy a little bit more because let's say you're playing that warrior and you're actually trying to gear him up. Ash cander is probably a weapon you're going to want and you can go buy an ash cander for two bronze bullion and then you can just keep upgrading that weapon and you'll be able to get the normal heroic and mythic appearances just from getting that weapon and then upgrading it and then you would only need to spend one bronze bullion to go get the LFR color but if you're somebody that has a bunch of ults you could just go do all of these LFR bosses and all of these mythic dungeons on all of those alts get a bunch of bronze bullions and just buy and just buy a ridiculous amount of these transmog items and you'll be able to pretty easily obtain any raid weapon appearances you want and as we went over these mythic zero dungeons are the equivalent of last season's mythic tens if you're trying to go in here with super undergeared alts you may want to go gear up those alts a little bit if you can play your class and your spec well you should be able to do these without much difficulty at like 450 item level if it's a new spec you haven't really played or you're below that item level i would recommend going and doing all the outdoor world content go do all the midger seal stuff go do time rifts go do all of that open world content because that can give you a lot of decent gear pretty quickly that will get you into mythic zero item level range and you'll be able to go do this weekly pretty easily past that point so if you were planning on putting any time into season four this is the week i would be putting time into i've already done this weekly quest on a handful of different characters just because the rewards are so incredibly good but that's all i want to go over so thanks for watching